call, please. Commissioner Abraham. Commissioner Galt. Present. Commissioner Rhodes. Here. Commissioner Wilson. Present. Mayor Kaler. Present. And who has the motion? I do. Carol. I move that the notice of call meeting for Tuesday, December 10th, 2013 be received and filed. Need a second. Second. Roll call. Commissioner Galt. Aye. Commissioner Rhodes. Aye. Commissioner Wilson. Aye. Mayor Kaler. Aye. So we are here today for an announcement. We can all make it really formal. You want to come down? Come down. I like to have my posse with me. <laughs> Good team. And city manager coming over, you're part of the team. <laughs> a big part of the team. Steve, Steve, why don't you come up here? <laughs> so I, I would like to welcome everyone here tonight. It's, it's a great day in Paducah because we are here to make the real announcement. We've had some announcements before, but this time we have a deal on a hotel. We have a loan on the hotel. We have developers that are ready to make this happen here in Paducah. So this is the announcement for the hotel in the city of Paducah. Um, we have several guests here. We have a lot of our local elected officials, Commissioner Carol Galt, Mayor Pro Tem Sandra Wilson, Commissioner Allen Rhodes, and Commissioner Abraham cannot be here tonight, but he wishes to send his thoughts on the hotel, that he totally supports this hotel development agreement. So, sorry Richard couldn't be here today. Do we have anyone else, any other elected officials in the audience? Uh, we have uh, some of our team members here today. We have many partners, the city of Paducah. We have Nashville-based Senate Hospitality Group here, Louisville-based developers, Independence Bank, Kentucky Tourism Arts and Heritage Cabinet, Paducah Riverfront Development Authority, Paducah-McCracken County Convention Center Corporation, and the Conven Paducah Convention and Visitors Bureau. And some of those people that are here with us tonight uh, with the Paducah Convention and Visitors Bureau, uh, um, Mary Hammonds and her uh, team, glad to have you all here tonight. The Paducah McCracken County Convention Center, Center Corporation. We have Tom Paget and Hal Sullivan. Is anyone else here from the convention? Brian, thank you. Glad to have you here tonight. Kentucky Tourism Arts and Heritage Cabinet. Do we have anyone here tonight from there? Independence Bank. We have a, a good lineup of uh, fine gentlemen here from Independence Bank. Danny Evitz and Scott, Scott Johnson, and Pat Riley. Glad to have you here tonight. Louisville-based developers, uh, development team, David Puckett, John Clark, Todd Clark, Glenn Malone with Senate Hospitality, David Jones with Sen Senate Hospitality. Glad to have you all here tonight. Uh, a brief update on the project. Uh, this is an upscale, six-story, 121-room, hotel that's going to be built on the pavilion site. The decision that we made on this hotel was um, rooted in the feasibility study, the impact on the downtown area, approximately 9.3 million annual total spending. There will be a 3.7 million in earnings and support the equivalent of 93 net new full-time jobs in Paducah. The impact on revenue is expected to generate $631,000 annually in tax revenues. Getting the right partners to develop and operate the convention center business without a hotel, that opportunity would have been lost. So it's very important that we have this uh, very qualified hotel developer that is also a very qualified convention center operator that will bring many more venues into the city of Paducah that will increase tourism and increase business, not only in downtown Paducah, 
but over the city as a whole that will help us grow as a city. Um, the hotel summary, and I hope I'm not giving away some talking points for you, but it will be a 121 room hotel, six stories, concrete and steel construction. Uh, so we're looking forward to this upscale hotel that we will have here that will have direct connections to the convention center with a walkway over the flood wall to the convention center from the hotel. We will have a nice parking lot behind the flood wall that will have a nice opening coming into the hotel. Beautifully landscaped, a real asset to downtown. So tonight I'd like to call from comments. Um, Independence Bank, who would like to be the spokesperson? Would you like to make a few comments tonight? Why don't all of you come up here? This is my A-team. Mm -hmm. On my right is Scott Johnson, our senior lender. On my left is Pat Riley. Pat has dedicated the last 368 days, I think, on this project, day in and day out. And my comments are going to be very, very brief. It's, uh, it's like an all-star team. It's really rare that you can get such a, a great group of people together with a similar idea and come up with a development that we're talking about. You know, we're, what made us excited about this project and about this particular loan and deal is the people involved. Uh, obviously, the city added a lot of strength and uh, helped carve this. The developers, the significant contribution to, to this project, and then the Senate group and their management expertise and experience. Uh, you, you got an all-star team there when all that came together. And then when the vision started to, to develop, this has taken time to develop. This wasn't something that started a year ago and taken this long to get. This went through a birthing period, if you want to look at it like that, with the pain and the agony and everything else in between. But the end result is something that the city, the county, the community, the state, everyone would be excited about. So I applaud the efforts from my team here and my team all around me for the patience and the guidance and the end result is, is soon to appear. Thank you. And I would like to call the team from Senate Hotel up to make some comments and also um, the Clark development if you all will I don't all of you come up and then you can decide who wants to go first, Do you want to go first? well it's a big day and we are thrilled to be here my name is Glenn Malone I'm with Senate hospitality we are out of Nashville Tennessee my partner Dave Jones here uh, is with me tonight uh, this is a project that we're greatly excited about. It's one that I think will be a great asset for um, downtown Paducah. Uh, I want to start off by just recognizing uh, a lot of the same groups that the mayor just spoke about, but the city has been great to work with. Again, my partner Dave and I have worked together since uh, the 1980s. Uh, we've done a lot of public-private partnerships uh, starting in the 1990s where we worked with cities uh, to bring hotels uh, to cities uh, that in many cases were attached to city convention centers. In other cases, uh, just brought hotels and, and meeting space uh, to downtowns. And it really does add a lot for a city. Uh, this city has a great convention center and it's underutilized today greatly uh, in part uh, due to the fact that it doesn't have a hotel connected to it and in particularly you know a high quality hotel it's had a hotel in the past but we're going to raise it to a new level i think with this hotel but again i want to i want to thank the city i want to particularly thank uh steve doolittle and jeff peterson for uh, all of the help that they've given to us in in putting this project together and structuring the deal uh, I also want to thank Independence Bank, who you just heard from. Uh, they've been greatly uh, helpful to us in structuring a, a financing package that works for this particular project. Uh, it was not a simple project. It was a complicated uh, deal to put together, and the bank worked with us uh, all along. I also want to acknowledge uh, David Puckett, 
uh, and Todd and John Clark, who are behind me as well, our partners in the project itself uh, for the work that they've put into the project. Um, you know, I think what we'll do here will be, you know, sometimes you hear this and maybe it's overused, but one plus one can equal three. Uh, in this case, you know, the first one maybe is what's here in Paducah today. We've got a great convention center, we've got the Carson Center, but we don't have a hotel in downtown Paducah. And I think a hotel down here can really help bring new business to uh, the downtown area. That's what we're counting on. That's what we strongly believe will happen with this hotel is we'll bring new business to Paducah that's not here today. And we'll take advantage of the new hotel along with the convention center and the Carson Center uh, to host that new business in downtown uh, Paducah. So very excited about that. Um, We've, we've got a high quality hotel. The mayor gave you an overview of it, an upscale hotel uh, that will uh, be very attractive to conventioneers, to attendees, to conventions and conferences. And uh, we look forward to working. Also, I don't want to leave out Mary and the CVB. Uh, we've already started uh, discussions with the CVB about marketing all of the assets that I just mentioned, and we're looking forward to working closely with them uh, to attract this new business to Paducah. So excited to be here. I probably should stop, but um, uh, I am excited. It's hard to stop talking about it. Thank you all. You know, I've never seen so many smiles in, in a long time. Would you all, David, would you like to say something? Oh, you, you've always have something to say. Come on. <laughs> right. Um, it has been a little longer than a year. It's been about five years. Um, and I believe that, Glenn, you would. Over here. What was, I know you, you tracked it recently. How, how many years ago was it? About five years ago? Yeah, about that. When we first okay. came here. Yeah, well, we first came here and did a tour of the uh, existing facility, and um, and I made recommend recommendations back then what to do with it, and I think that it fell on deaf ears for about two years, but then uh, Mayor Paxton at the time, um, I guess, got it worked out with the commissioners and everyone else to, in my opinion, do the right thing, and the right thing was to, uh, was to get rid of the executive in and follow in suit what everyone else has done up and down the river, and that made it um, that made the possibility of this happening a reality and it but it has taken it has taken five years yeah. and a lot of trips to Paducah and a lot of uh, a lot of brainstorming and working with the city which um, I can say has been a pleasure and um, it has been painful at times um, but um, <laughs> but I can also say that I've always been on call I've showed up in jogging shorts and hats and everything else to come to these executive sessions um, but I, I think we've uh, I think we're here um, at the right time and I think that we're gonna have a successful project so I'm good there are some other people in the audience that have been uh, extremely helpful in this process uh, and they go way back and um, making this a successful project. And I'd like for those folks to come up here. Brian Katz with the CCC board, if you would come on up. And um, Jeff Foreman, I'd like to recognize you with the Carson Center. And Bill, come on up. Hal, would you come up please? And the PRDA board members that are here, Bruce and Carla. Is there any, anyone else here? Bill Schrader, you come up here too. You're part of this. I know you're shy, Bill. <laughs> Bruce, you can come over here. Oh. <laughs> but you know, this, this whole group has worked very well together. We've all worked very hard to make this a success. Um, and without the efforts of the Convention Center Board, it wouldn't have happened. Without the uh, efforts of Jeff and the Carson Center to fill in that gap that we so desperately needed. And you've been, you've been wonderful in your operation of the Convention Center, and we thank you.
Um, you know, it takes all of those people that can be in the right place at the right time and to be supportive and uh, to also be understanding when we get a new hotel in town and um, they have to step down and someone else steps up and they know it's the right thing to do for the community. And that's what makes this community successful. So would any of you all like to say anything tonight? Bruce, do you want to say something on behalf of PRDA? All right. Anyone else? Well, thank you all, every one of you. Thank you, Bill. Jeff, would you like to say something? <laughs> Commissioners, do you have anything to say? Do you have anything you want to say? No? All right. Any questions tonight about the hotel deal? It's pretty well lined out in the information that you got when you came in. Did you have a question, Corey? The stabilization, the stabilization fund that we. Um, the first part of the question yeah. was what? Just basically the stabilization fund side of it. Was that like a, a decent, long negotiation, or was it just something that you had? No, not really. I think I think the city and the commission understood the significance of that for a startup project in a in a new market, and sure there was a little negotiation around the terms, but I think it's fair to say we came together fairly quickly and harmoniously on that. <laughs> compared to some other things it was fairly as I said we yeah, we didn't rush into this <laughs> any other questions mm -hmm. Well, Kenny, I wasn't going to call on you, but would you like to come up? <laughs> I don't, I'm not sure they. Yes, um, uh, a, a and K Construction, Kenny will be uh, the contractor on the hotel, uh, building the hotel, working with us to construct the hotel. So uh, let me introduce Kenny. Uh, to, to answer that question is I don't think we really know the answer, but but um, uh, we've we've done several different concepts, uh, looked at different things with David, and and uh, I think uh, economics are going to drive a lot of of what what the final outcome is. But we want it to be a a, a signature hotel, a signature building that that the entire city can be proud of. Um, so as far as the theme it, it takes, I'm I'm not positive about that at this point, and uh, I think we've we've got a we've got a a lot of work to do to get there. But uh, and then uh, also uh, I'm I'm chairman of the Paducah Economic Development, and I just want to say I, it's a great day for for Paducah uh, for sure. It's it's going to be a great asset for the community to have a a real nice to goodness downtown hotel where, where business people can meet, uh, you know they can stay. Uh, you know it's going to be great for the river industry, all the other industries that uh, that are based here in Paducah, uh, and and we really we really feel like it's going to be a, a a big a big boon to to everything that we're that's going on. With what we're trying to accomplish in downtown, and uh, I really w applaud the mayor and, and uh, Mayor Paxton and uh, Jeff and and Steve. Uh, like these guys, I've been kind of working behind the scenes with David. And I, it's just unbelievable the amount of hours and time that's been put in on this project to try to get to come together, and, and they're just a, a testament to how persistence and hard work uh, finally pays off. So it's a, it's a great day, and, and thanks to Independence Bank for sure for for seeing clear to to uh, make the loan and get this thing done. So. Anyway, thank you. One more person that we don't need to leave out tonight because she's been an amazing partner is Mary Hammonds. Would you like to say something, Mary? Come on up. I'm going to have to say since we're ready to work. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, thank you. And we will go into our meeting tonight.